Warning, this short presentation reveals a controversial new female mind control technique and may be offensive to women, minors, and closed-minded men. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, betas? Welcome back to How to Be Alpha as I'm a man with big brain. This is how you're gonna hack a woman's little teensy weensy baby brain. <laughs> Warning. Oh, I'm a, <laughs> Warning. What's up, betas? <laughs> <laughs> Warning. I'm a man. <laughs> the desire system. This was an advertisement on YouTube, the same place that is heavily monitored and heavily censored for bad words, was advertising something that was a life hack on how to get laid. <laughs> so you know what? Let's just look at the desire system. Let's check it out. This is fucking 52 minutes long, first of all. Nobody's watching the whole- Alright, put this on. 1.75 speed playback. Warning, this short presentation reveals a controversial new female mind control technique and may be offensive to women, minors, and closed-minded men. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm about to show you a short video that will blow your mind. Coming out strong. <laughs> Just start this off with something insane. This may be offensive to women, minors, closed-minded men. So now if it's like, if I even feel an inkling to be like, this seems a little offensive. I must be a woman, a minor, or closed-minded men. So you're either making me profess my closed-mindedness or you're forcing me to be like, this is good. <laughs> this is correct for sure and will definitely not make it more difficult for you in the long run to find happiness with a significant other. You'll watch a doctor prime her for sex in just minutes. She gets visibly turned on, her face gets that horny red blush, and she begins to touch herself. That makes me so uncomfortable that he just says that horny red blush. I don't like it. It's like the word moist for some people, which I'm sure is in this video as well. <laughs> They're gonna say horny red blush in the word moist 10,000 times in 52 minutes. It's just as easy as yawning. That can't be true if it takes you 52 minutes to explain it. Whether it's a girl you see at the bar or walking down the street, or a friend who's driving you crazy, it's pretty awesome when you see her get that horny red blush in her face, and you know that she's sexually primed and about to make a move on you. There we go again, horny red blush. It's just, th he's just throwing it out there. And that sounds like the worst makeup brand. Horny Red Blush by Maybelline. <laughs> I'm thinking about painting my room. I was thinking about a nice horny red blush. Do you have that in store or is that, is that a special order? New favorite color, horny red blush, baby. <laughs> I've come to realize that women crave sex just as much as men. They have some of the craziest sexual fantasies. Slowly come to realize that women are in fact human beings as well and experience a lot of the same things that I experience. Who would have thought? Who'd have thunk it? If you don't know the secret and don't know how to make a woman horny, well, I hope someone invents a time machine and takes you back to the 1950s because that's the last time that a traditional date worked. I'm going to expose all of the women are just fine without men feminists. How? Well, it's all because of these mirror neurons you've been hearing about. I know doctors will keep it real simple. Basically, this whole thing is based on the idea of mirror neurons, which I know sounds like a slim shady lyric, but a mirror neuron is a neuron that fires both when an animal acts or when an animal observes the same action performed in another. Like we do use our mirror neurons every day while we're socially interacting with other human beings, but somebody being horny and weird does not make me feel horny. That's not how that works. Sometimes when somebody acts a certain way, it makes you feel the opposite. So, you know, tough sell on the mirror neurons being this life-saving hack that can make you control the brain of any female. Dr. David's secret can sexually prime just about any woman. So when you use it, you have to be careful. Seriously, don't use it around your mom. <laughs> Yo, please don't do that. Great power comes great responsibility. You're basically Spider-Man of sleeping with women. It works on anyone. Careful around your mother, guys. I thought the whole thing was working on mirror neurons. Why would I be horned up and ready to go around my mom? <laughs> Am I missing something here? I'm so uncomfortable inside. Even Dr. David wasn't always the ladies' man he is today. Far from it, actually. He was trapped in an unhappy religious marriage where he felt guilt for even trying to have sex with his wife. And when they got divorced, he experienced intense shame. He felt like a failure and swore off dating. But then, he stumbled upon the secrets of mirror neurons during his PhD research. That summer, David decided to travel for his PhD and ended up sleeping with over 30 jaw-dropping women in less than two months. The local newspapers even wrote a story when they caught wind of it. So he felt weird shame in a religious aspect from even trying to have sex with his wife. But then when he discovered mirror neurons, he was like, he suddenly didn't give a shit about God. I don't get it. Hey, that's fine. This video is not for me because I'm an alpha male, so it's so innate to who I am. It's like trying to break down, you know, 
why my heart beats. It just does. I'm just alpha. So to me, like, this is bad, all right? It's like old news. <laughs> And because of the advanced psychological techniques in the program, we simply don't want this in the hands of guys who will use it to harm women. This system is only for guys who are serious about taking action and using it for good. Still with me? They're straight up talking about this like it's a superpower. Like you're gonna mutate into some sort of alpha horn dog. If you're a bad guy, click away from this video now. Quick, get out of here, bad guy. If you're a good guy, this is for you. Give me money, you get laid. I'm a good guy. This video's for me. What's it worth to be able to make any woman horny and have the power to have sex with almost any woman you want in mere hours or minutes? Most men would consider $597 an absolute fair price for this power, especially with the bonuses David's going to give you. But that's not what you're paying right now. You're not even paying half of that. You won't even pay $147 for today only for the one-time low price of only $67. How come they all end in $7? Is that another uh, mind hack that you're fucking hacking me with now? Where if you said $150, I'm like, that's too much. But if you say $147, I'm like, that's just the right amount that I'm willing to pay. What are you doing? Just make it 150 bucks. Say 150, not 147, you psychopath. You just arbitrarily made up what the price of this is. It doesn't, it's not like you did the, you crunched the numbers and it came that over, oh, it's with that extra $7, that's from, you know, having to buy this calculator I crunched all these numbers on. It's that you made up the number, just make it 70. There's thousands of men like you, so do not hesitate on this. And you can make your purchase with confidence because David is fully guaranteeing your satisfaction for right. 60 days. The, oh my God, he just keeps fucking talking, hey? I thought alpha males didn't have to talk so much. I thought talking a lot was a woman thing. Women speak a lot, alpha male, quiet. So right now you have a simple choice. Option one, the risky choice, where you do nothing, let this once in a lifetime opportunity pass you by and give up your spot to the next guy in line and let him have the girls you want. Live in hope, risk having a miserable sex life for years to come and harsh as it sounds, risk dying sexless, sad, and alone. <laughs> hey man, if you don't wanna buy this, I get it, but you will die alone and you'll never have sex. Fucking virgin. Oh, $67, that's way too much money. I'll just, I'd rather die alone. Got me. You got me, dude. <laughs> Go to the bar or the coffee shop or wherever and try it on a few other girls first. Get a feel for it. Be on the lookout for that horny red blush and see how you- Yeah, they had to say it again, eh? Horny red blush. Hey, stop saying that, you freaking weirdo. You know? Stop saying those words in conjunction. Whatever, one more quickly. Turn her on using emotional contagion. Emotional contagion, that's just another way of saying mirror neuron, and this guy's gonna say all the exact same shit. Just a hunch. The key to making a woman feel deeply turned on is a principle called emotional contagion. This is a phenomenon of one person's emotions directly triggering similar emotions in other people, also known as the law of state transference. So if you feel very excited about something, she'll feel excited. If you feel really nervous, it'll rub off on her and she'll feel nervous too. It'll rub off on her and she'll feel nervous too. And here's what is really interesting. If you hey, don't go rubbing off on her. Too early in the conversation. <laughs> if you feel sexual and turned on, then she will feel sexually turned on as well. If you feel sexual and turned on, then she will feel sexually turned on. Somehow I'm thinking that that's not true. If that were true, everybody everywhere would always be fucking. And nothing would get done. Try just walking up to a stranger with a fully erect dick and just going, eh? Hmm? You too, or? Because mirror neurons. Emotional contagion, baby. <laughs> mirror neurons. You ever walk into a room with a raging mirror neuron? trying to give her some of that emotional contagion. <laughs> hi, I just saw you here and I had to at least say hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That was an example. That was his example, just walking up and saying hi. But the secret is, little does she know, in his head, he's already jerking off. And thus, in her head, <laughs> I don't know, man, mirror neurons, it just doesn't make enough sense. It's too loose. It's too loose of a theory. It's got way too many holes in it. For example, all I would have to do in the middle of a conversation, I just start sucking a dick. Mirror neurons. Now, next thing you know, she's sucking a dick. She saw me do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's how to apply this to a woman while you're talking to her. First, get present and grounded. Then look at her and appreciate her beauty. Let the sexual feelings build up to the point that you want to ravage her. Embrace the sexual desires and just keep talking. <sighs> That's all I can take. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll be notified next time I upload. There's a lot more of this. Actually, the guy they talk about in the desire system who has the conference, he's on YouTube. So we can watch the conference together if this 
is something you want to go further into. I, I don't know. All I know is I'm starting to get a headache from being alpha as hell. A lot of work to be this Omega. Okay? So, you know, like and subscribe unless you're beta or an offended, closed-minded man, woman, or a minor. Otherwise, if you were alpha, dude, you would have already liked and subscribed. So, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Peace. Her face gets that horny red blush, and she begins to... Touch yourself.